the last several months for Bradley Beal. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing to them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. And now Washington's starting group. We've got Russell Westbrook, Hachimura out there with Alex Len. Then it's Avdia, and it's Beal in at the two-guard position. And for the Warriors, Wiggins in the front court. He's there with Green. Oubre out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Wiseman in at the five down low. Outside, Beal. To the inside, Len. Green with the rebound. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Wiggins outside. Curry passes to Wiseman. And here is Curry. Really played well against Milwaukee his last outing. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. It's Westbrook with the drive. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. Greg, what are they feeling here on opening day from the harsh ending to last season still very vivid in their minds? Kevin, they are motivated. You've had to think about that all summer long, and the chance for retribution starts here. Oubre can't get it to go. Now the Wizards with it. Outside Westbrook. Curry was a nice D. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Shot from the top of the key, and he hits the jump shot. Well, the D has to pressure Curry at all times. You can't let him shake free for a jumper. Here's Beal. Last game, 26 points. No good on the three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Curry with the three. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Well, that's one of the game's greatest three-point shooters, so don't be shocked. Westbrook kicks to Beal. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Wiseman sets a screen for Curry. That shot off. And it's Washington the other way. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. The Wizards with another miss. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for Golden State. It's a three-point game. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Wiggins. Pass to Wiseman. Over Len. And it's Wiseman that time on the assist by Oubre. Now, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes, and he doesn't make a mistake that time. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And just as Kelly Oubre was coming into his own as an NBA starter, a meniscus tear in his right knee ended his season. Now back in action. We'll see how quickly he can recover his explosive athleticism. Well, let's take a look at last year's top scores. Bradley Beal is second. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And before the injury, Kelly Oubre playing a career high in minutes. 38 to 40 minutes a game with regularity. 
GA, do you think that load could have contributed to his injury? Well, Kevin, all young players want those minutes, but that right knee had troubled him for a while. PRP treatment back in 2017, and perhaps some questions for the Suns training set. Curry with it. He has five. Oubre outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Got to know the scouting report. You do not want Kelly Oubre to establish confidence in catch and shoot chances. Knocks it down. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 10-2 run here. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Westbrook kicks to Hachimura. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, Westbrook keeping his options open on that possession doesn't force the shot and finds a man breaking free. Oubre dishes to Green. Passes it to Curry. Latre. Rebound by the Wizards. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Great showing for him last season. Seventh in scoring, 11th in steals. And his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And back to his points per game average last year, he literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. Curry with a wide open look. It's good from long range. Curry's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Warriors. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Beal, the pass to Len. Outside, Beal from downtown. The shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Oubre dishes to Wiseman. Wiggins drives in. Len grabs the board. Wizards trail by six. Avdia kicks to Beal. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. And this is his bread and butter. Give Beal these looks from deep, and he is going to knock them down. Oubre outside. Outside green. Now Wiseman. This is the curve. Just five to shoot. From deep. Hachimura grabs the miss. Washington has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Beal from long range. The Warriors pull it in. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Now here's Oubre. We saw him with 19 points his last out. That one drops for him. Oubre does a great job there. Finds an avenue, slinks his way in there, and then jumps over the top. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Andrew Wiggins, the kind of guy that people watch with a microscope, but he has cut down on inefficient shots. Those long twos started to take more threes and using his athletic ability when he gets on the inside to get to the foul line. Lee's checked in for Oubre. Hachimura finds Lopez. The Wizards working the ball around now. It's stolen by Green. And here is Curry. He's got eight. Here's Wiseman. A shot that time, not on target. And Washington the other way now. And Wiggins looking more aggressive off the bounce. Brent getting into the teeth of the defense. Yeah, and his assists are climbing because of that also his turnover so now what you want to do is slow down the game for Andrew Wiggins and show him on film where his outlets are 
and where his decision making can be that much better. Wiseman with the ball. Lopez is there. Wizards trail by three. It's deflected. It's stolen by Green. He dishes it to Lee. Outside Curry. And the three off target. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Beal drives in. Here's Lopez, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. A guy that doesn't give up on the glass. Lopez, a real force at rebounding the ball. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. A free throw off from Lopez. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Outside, Beal. This one for three. Warriors with the rebound. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. He's more for three. That shot off, and it's Washington the other way. Matthews scanning the floor, and it's blocked. Lonzo looks like the Wizards are retaining possession here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State, and a switcher also for Washington. Ish Smith, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. Lopez passes to Matthews. Here's Neto. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. The Wizards with another miss. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Now Kent Bazemore knows that his contributions come from being active and Bazemore becoming a better passer. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the evening. And as a team, excellent a season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw from Lee is good. Wizards trail by four. Smith with it. To the paint. Here's Lopez. And Lopez throws it down. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. Smith against Lee. He kicks to Curry. A three ball. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got 11 points. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now Smith driving in and stolen by Wiggins. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Baysmore finds Curry. Another three for Golden State. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Washington. Trailing here by eight. Pass to Hachimura. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That's his first foul. Washington making some changes. Bertinus comes in for Hachimura. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Raul Neto.
and so it's Washington with it. Smith scanning the floor. Six on the shot clock. Berton's shot is good. It does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Over Matthews. And too long on the shot. Wizards trail by five. Now here's Westbrook in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. Hammers the alley-oop through. Unselfish play there from Westbrook. A great scorer off of the pick and roll, this time setting up his teammate. Lee outside. Curry against Westbrook. Curry passes to Looney. Stolen by Westbrook. For the finish and the dunk by Westbrook. Well, he's edge of your seat material out in transition. Westbrook is equally adept at pulling up for the shot or taking it to the rack. There's the pass to Curry. Driving inside and a wide open look for Lee. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Washington shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Westbrook against Curry. Can't hit from in close. So for the Wizards, their last game a win against the Magic. A three-pointer. Wiggins not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. Smith outside. Pass to Westbrook. One second left. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And don't go away. We'll be right back. We caught up with Steph Curry, who spoke with us about coming back from being out. Yeah, I've been looking forward to just that feeling because there's no other place that you can get that adrenaline rush and that uh, level of intensity and focus than out there in those 94 feet. So I'm going to enjoy every minute of this, no matter how it goes. Greg, this guy is a premier performer, and the hardwood is his stage. He always plays well. No doubt. I mean, fans pay to see him as much as anyone. And when you think about the last decade of basketball, he's changed the game as much as anyone with his range. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Kent Bazemore is out there with Kelly Oubre, and it's Looney in at the five. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Passes it to Hachimura. Shoots over Bazemore. Hachimura, no good. The Warriors trail. Here's Poole. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Looney. Just five on the clock. Pass to Poole. From deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Poole's got himself on the board with three there. And last year, just a tough one for Looney. Just couldn't find a way to stay on the court. Grabbing that jersey for just 20 games last year, and every time he seemed to recover from one nagging injury, another one would pop up, and Looney very frustrated with how last year went, and so were his teammates. 
And here in the second, two minutes gone by. 4-3, Oubre. Rebound by Smith. The Wizards have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. For Washington, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. That one misses. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I suited up in a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times, and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Here's Poole. Up top, Bazemore. He's covered by Hachimura. Oubre for three. Drills it from outside. Oubre's got eight. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. To the left wing. Here's Westbrook. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Lee passes to Poole. Inside, Oubre. Matthews with the rebound. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for the Washington Wizards. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Lopez, a screen on Lee. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, the defense respecting the shot right there, and that creates a lane for him to drive right through. And that's his game. Matthews against Oubre. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oubre's got five points now in the quarter. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Washington calls timeout. And the self-described Tsunami Poppy. Kelly Oubre used to call himself the Wave, but as he grows, so too does the nickname. Well, the Wave for him is a metaphor for his life's approach. The energy that you put out coming back. And Kelly Oubre is the kind of guy who's looking to attack with force and fury. So that kind of ebb and flow is helping out his NBA career. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Beals checked in for Smith. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Oubre passes to Poole. The pass to Baseman. Kicks it to Lee. Lopez with the block. And the space Lopez is able to cover on defense, using that size and length to reject the shot. There's Beal with the three. That shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. Pass to Bazemore. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That's his first foul. On defense, the Wizards. It's a three-point game. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Here's Beal, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Golden State gets called for the foul. And the ability of Beal to just wear out the defense. At times, you almost have to foul him to stop him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 
and going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. And he knocks down the first one. And you know, we often talk about Beal's skill set and his finesse. He can play a very physical game as well, Greg. He doesn't have a choice. I mean, he had four brothers who all played football in college, so he kind of grew up around the physicality. And you can also tell Bill's taking his strength and conditioning seriously, especially after having the lower body injury issues earlier in his career. He doesn't get the second one. And quite simply, Beal is an all-NBA player in our league, a multi-dimensional guard who does many things well, especially scoring the ball. Passes to Looney. Outside, Green, four on the clock. Here's Neto, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Avdia. Back to Neto. Now the pass to Hachimura. Over Green. And another miss by Washington. The Warriors leading. And here's Oubre. Ten points for him. Looney. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Man, Looney is so long. Gets up there and flushes it. Wizards have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Here's Hachimura. And yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. First one falls. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, how do you feel about it? You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching, uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s, but... I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Right side Curry. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. The Wizards making a switch here. Bairton has checked in. Here's Oubre. He's got 10. Count that bucket. Oubre Jr. Difficult play there, but finds a way to get to the free throw line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. One shot. Kelly Oubre is a multi-talented forward and it plays with a lot of confidence. He can keep this kind of consistency. He's going to do some damage in this league. One kick kicks to Bertans. It's stolen by Green. Curry dishes to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Feeds it to Wiseman. Over Len. Len with the block. Well, putting the wingspan to great use, Len throws that one away. Beal with it. He's got six. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
It's on Kelly Oubre. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. First one drops. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Russell Westbrook in for Washington. And both free throws good for Beal. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Curry against Westbrook. Stolen by Len. Westbrook drives in. Unloads from 13. They get a bet. Warriors leading by four. Now Curry. 14 points for him. Pass to Oubre. Six to shoot. And the call will be against Alex Len. That's his first foul. Here's Wiseman. Higgins outside. There's the triple. That one also a miss for him. Just like the other three attempts this game. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Again, using his frame and size right there. Westbrook, one of the strongest finishers we have in the game. Curry passes to Wiseman. From deep three-point range, a shot by Curry, no good. Washington's gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Len with a screen on Oubre. A shot by Bertans, nobody around. That doesn't go in, had a chance though to take the lead. Oubre outside. A three-pointer, Wiggins gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And pretty consistent from range. Wiggins has the natural tools to do a little bit of everything. Passes it to Beal. Len with a screen on Oubre. Beal, that's for two. Good on the jump shot. Beal's got five points now this quarter. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Weisman the pass to Curry. Shot clock at six. Makes it off the glass. Curry's got 16. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside Beal. It's deflected and he's able to get it back. The three from Bertans. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Westbrook against Curry. In the corner, it's Oubre. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. 137 left in the first half. Here's Len. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Len's got the game tied up here for the Wizards. Looking at Washington, they took the win in their last game out against the Magic in Orlando. Curry passes to Wiggins. The three. Rebound by the Wizards. That'll be game four of the six-game road trip. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Beal. Len with a screen on Oubre. Here's Beal. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. And there's the feed to Green. 
Stolen by Avdia. Westbrook with it. Now defended by Wiggins. It's blocked. Well, that's successful physicality on Ubre's part. Not afraid to get right up in the shooter's business. Abdia, he's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That puts them in the lead. And now a three-point Wizards lead. And it's fun watching Beal take these shots. He's a master at knowing when to catch and fire. Oubre passes to Curry. A three-pointer. Wiggins, it drops for his second made shot of this game. An unimpressive 2 of 7, though. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Beal. Clock at six. Shoots the three. Good on the three-point shot. Beal's got the lead up to three now for the Wizards. Curry way outside, and no good on the last second attempt this time. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Washington. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatch. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatch. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. Some good action during the period as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They were a determined team in the second quarter and you saw it come across on the scoreboard. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. Well, they were determined to win the physical battle tonight. And if you look at the rebounding numbers, they are winning it. Now, that's great. All of those bodies crashing on the boards, that's the physicality and the mental edge that you need in this game. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I'd like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Taking a look at the Wizards. Alex Len out there with Rui Hachimura. Then it's Avdia. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Beal in at the two guard. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Beal's got 18 points in the game. And there's not an area on the floor where Beal can't do damage. He is a handful for any defense he goes up against. Shot is good in the Wizards. Lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Stephen Kerr. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. And finished off by Oubre. This is where Oubre can be very, very dangerous out in transition and using those strides. 
The pass to Westbrook. From the arc. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Wiggins from outside. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got seven rebounds in the game. And Hachimura's given name, Rui, means fortress in Japanese. And that's what he looks like out there. He's worked hard in the weight room, sports a solid frame with a terrific core and, and that great lower body strength. Avdia gets the bucket. Well, that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Warriors trail by six. Curry deciding where to go with it. Stolen by Len. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Here's Beal. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And you combine Hachimura's power with that 7-2 wingspan, Greg. He's physically built to succeed in a positionless NBA. And add to that, Kevin, he's got solid athleticism along with a versatile skill set. Hachimura still needs Super to two. work on creating off the dribble, shooting the jump shot with consistency, but with his work ethic, there's a good chance he turns those into strengths. Free throw good, Beal. Greg, so many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling and... Yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Wiggins. Six points for him. Good on the triple. Wiggins has got nine points. A welcome sign for sure. When Wiggins is connecting with the J, his offense becomes lethal. Here's Westbrook. Got a piece of it, but he stays with it. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Beal. He's got 20. Shoots over Oubre. Good job contesting by Kelly Oubre Jr. there. And again, Washington no good. Yes! And the foul. Alex Len picks one up. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. throw good Ubre. right around three minutes into the second half Beal against Ubre. oh and the dunk by Beal I love when Beal slashes to the rim like this using that athleticism and speed so well Higgins outside And he uses the glass on the way up. Wiggins has got five points now this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Westbrook. Another one falls for Washington. The mid-range jumper of Westbrook, one of the more important shots 
in his arsenal when he gets to that area the confidence grows Curry finds Wiggins Wiseman with the ball pass to Curry four on the shot clock puts it up from 15 rebounded by the Wizards Lens got rebound number five here tonight Westbrook passes to Len. Beal deciding where to go with it. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Now it's a six-point Washington lead. And this is Beal's role. He's out here to score the ball. And he does it at a high rate. Curry outside. Hands it from downtown. Curry's got 21 in the game. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Westbrook passes to Hachimura. Top of the key, Beal. Oubre with the steal. A finish. And finished off by Oubre. These are great signs when Oubre can play with this kind of impact on both ends of the floor. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Wizards. They lead by one. Here's Westbrook trying to get over his land. And it's Westbrook, that time on the assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists tonight. Golden State's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Pass to Oubre. To the middle. Here's Wiseman. Len grabs the board. Len's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Len's got his third basket of the night right there. Warriors trail by five. Outside, Green. The dish to Oubre, launches a three, and the Warriors get it back. There's the three. The shot, no good. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Westbrook, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, I love the job they're doing here of getting into the teeth of that defense. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Guys, how about all the second chance points they've been able to convert throughout the game? A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Ken Bazemore comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Lee's subbed in for Draymond Green. Just how fierce a competitor Russell Westbrook is. He just lays it all out there on the line every single night. Outside Curry. There's a screen. Driving the lane. Count it. Curry's got 23 points. I feel like when he gets going like this, it's a night where Steph might take a few more chances offensively. That spells trouble for the defense. Lopez, a screen on lead. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got the lead up to eight now for the Wizards. Warriors have gone eight of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Pass to Bazemore. For three. Washington with the rebound. Hachimura's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Beal. Here's Avia. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got assist number five here tonight. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Oubre kicks it to Bazemore. No good from outside. Wizards leading by 11. Outside Westbrook. And the pass to Lopez. 
Westbrook against Curry. Pass to Avdia. And here's Oubre. He's got 20. Outside Curry. Let's a floater go. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. Andrew Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. The Wizards also changing it up. Bertinus comes in for Hachimura. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct, and he has both. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. Lee passes to Curry. Here's Looney. Passes it to Baseman. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's see the stat sheet here on Bradley Beal. He's coming off an excellent season. How about 30 points per game? Six assists and four rebounds. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. And he can't get the first one. And really, it's hard to guard a guy like Bazemore because of how high he can get up. His athleticism is just boundless. Good on the second free throw. Deal with it. He's got 26. Lopez, a screen on Lee. And Lee pulls it down. Uh, he'd love to make him pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. Higgins outside. Pass to Baseball. Five to shoot. Dishes to Kerr. What's it fly from 18? It's tipped. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Is Smith. He's checked in for Beal. Wizards leading by seven. Here's Neto. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. A three. Wiggins with the rebound. Wiggins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Curry. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, of course, having that broken hand last season, Curry couldn't help the Warriors avoid a disastrous season. Kevin Durant gone. Clay rehabbing. The Warriors, I mean, legitimately just left with no scoring whatsoever. But Steph Curry, when he's healthy, he changes that whole narrative. The first free throw is good. Everything that Curry does seems to be fast. He shoots it fast, makes quick decisions with the ball, great ball handling with quick hands. Opponents at a loss with how to guard Steph Curry. Good on both. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Smith against Lee. The pass to Bertans. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. 
Smith's got his fourth assist in this one. A beautiful look from Ish Smith there, always looking to get his teammates involved. On its way from Curry for two, and a little luck that time, but it drops. Curry's got 30. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Down low. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Matthews, he's checked in for the Wizards. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Warriors trail by seven. Here's Lee outside. Hits it from three-point range. Lee's got his second basket of the night. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a score. Smith dishes to Lopez. To the middle. It's tipped and stolen by Bazemore. And uh, 101 left to play in the third. Now here's Wiggins. T right on him. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. Pass to Lopez. Erjohns with the ball. The Wizards with another miss. 35 seconds left in the third. Wiggins with it. Matthews covering and so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Avdia. Curry, Curry, Curry. And the Warriors with possession here. Deflects the pass. Six on the shot clock. A three-pointer. Wiggins rebounded by the Wizards. Matthews has got five rebounds tonight. He kicks it to Westbrook. It counts. And the foul. They get Stephen Curry. Well, body and control isn't just for your shampoo at home. It's right there in Russell Westbrook. He gets fouled and still converts. The Wizards have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. What's up? Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Washington. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there. Dissecting the defense with that play. 
And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Lee. Green is out there with Oubre. Then there's Wiseman. And it's Poole in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Matthews, no good. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. On the wing, Green. He's covered by Matthews. How about Draymond rising up into the contact? He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. And he makes the first. A lot of talk surrounding Draymond Green between the coaches and the teammates is the fact that he's the emotional leader of this team. Now, sometimes that's in accord with what you do, and sometimes it keeps you a little off balance. But no doubt Draymond Green is the spark for this ball club. And both free throws good for Green. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Washington. It's a three-point game. Outside Westbrook. Back to Smith. The feet to Lopez. Lee with the steal. On the wing, Green. Passes to Poole. To tie it up. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Wizards leading by three. Outside Westbrook. And Westbrook throws it down. Now this is Westbrook just being an ultra competitor. He gets in there and the defense has nothing to do. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Now Green. Ubre outside. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Green in the post. John's defending. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Green. Now here's Westbrook. Here's Bertans for three. Warriors with the rebound. Oubre's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Green. Now Lee. Kicks to Oubre. Five on the clock. Pulls up. Can't hit that one. And the Wizards now going the other way. And here's Westbrook. And there's the pass to Bertans. A three-pointer off the mark. Warriors trail by four. Oubre passes to Wiseman. Green in the post. Working on Burton. Comes up empty down low. Green against Westbrook. And he banks in the layup. Westbrook's got 18 points now here in the second half. Uh, he scores in so many different ways, but most of them have to do with attack mode and aggressiveness. Oubre sets the screen for Wiseman. Off target from outside. Wizards leading by six. 
Smith outside. The Warriors pull it in. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Oubre outside. Lee outside. That one's not going to go. Now Washington takes it the other way. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Berton. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Poole, the pass to Green. Oubre, no one around him. Off target with his three. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. The three from Bertans. The Wizards with another miss. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. Pass to Poole. In the corner, it's Oubre. Sinks the three-pointer. Oubre has got 23 points. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Hachimur is checked in for the Wizards. Beal comes in for Ish Smith. Hachimura against Bazemore. Lopez a screen on Ubre. Lopez kicks to Westbrook. 
And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Back to Westbrook. Six to shoot. Takes the three. And the three ball is good. Westbrook's got eight points here in this quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Hachimura against Bazemore. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Westbrook double team. Oubre with the steal. And now here's Oubre. Fast break chance. Here's Curry. Matthews with the rebound. Matthews has got his sixth rebound on the night. He feeds it to Lopez. Chalk up two there. And it's an eight-point Wizards lead. Comfortable shooting close to the basket. The size Lopez possesses gives him confidence down low. Green finds Wiggins. Outside curve. And a miss there on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Westbrook double team. Feeds it to Beal. The kick out to Westbrook. Spins. Wiggins against Matthews. And stolen by Wiggins. Baysmore for three. And Westbrook pulls it down. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Passes it to Matthews. Jacks up a three. Oubre pulls it in. Oubre's got eight rebounds in this game. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And the jam by Oubre. That's a big-time throwdown, and Oubre can really fly. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Washington. Pass to Hachimura. To the inside. Here's Lopez. Can't cash in from close range. Warriors trail by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Oubre outside. and Curry gets the assist. Oubre has got seven points for the quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Westbrook throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. They get Stephen Curry. Well, Westbrook right now amped up his volume at 11, physical enough to shake off the contact and send it home. The Wizards making a switch here. Av Diaz checked in. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Beal against Oubre. There it goes. It's in, and the Wizards' lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Stephen Kirk. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Lopez, a screen on Oubre. Beal, the pass to Lopez. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Here's Wiggins. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Wiggins has got nine points now in just the second half. Washington leading now by four. Deal with it. Oh, that's blocked and he gets it back poked loose tries again he takes it up and lays it in Lopez has got six points in the quarter and, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard that's where the lead has been built and that's why they are in control 
Here's Curry with the three. Another three for Golden State. And he's just living out beyond the arc right now. What a weapon to have on the floor. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. Here's Lopez. Abdia. Back to Lopez. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Wiggins surveying the floor. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. Denny Avdia picks one up. No stopping Wiggins there. You have to respect his aggressiveness and fighting mentality. And it's tied up with that one. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. Count it and the foul. It's on Kelly Oubre can't let Beal get that comfortable because he's so efficient once he gets in that area. Falls for Beal. Warriors trail by three. Timeout time out, called time the Warriors. Russell Westbrook really making smart. a difference here. A yeah, smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done.
And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Outside Curry. Oubre sets the screen for Bazemore. Now the pass to Curry. Front pass the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 39. Man, I'll tell you what. The pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Lopez, a screen on Oubre. The shot by Beal, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Curry. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Curry's got 41. Nice job by Steph. Just getting clever around the hoop and finding a way to get that one to the rim. Lopez, a screen on Oubre. Hachimura takes to Beal. Shot clock at six. And he lays it straight in. Beal's got it all tied up now for the Wizards. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Curry against Westbrook. Trying to get open is Bazemore. Curry can't get it to go. The Wizards shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. Beal drives in. He gets that one. Beal's got seven points for the quarter. And that's how smart Beal is. Knows how to angle his body through the contact and not let it affect the finish. Knocks down the three. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Lopez, a screen on Oubre. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this is what Beal does. He puts pressure on the defenders and makes them compromise when he does. Take a break. Take a break. Two seconds. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that ties the game up. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. But at least they're tied up. And Curry, here we go. Good! Just feels like there's not a spot on the floor where Steph Curry does not have great touch. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington. Washington calls timeout. They're down by two. 29 seconds left in the game.
29 seconds left in the fourth. Beyond the arc. Buries it from outside. And that bucket was absolutely huge. A defensive stop now may just seal the deal. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It drops. And they do have a foul to give. Now Beal. Pass to Hachimura. Yes! And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. And so it's Washington who scraped by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks, Russell. Congrats on the win. How are you guys able to stay in front down the stretch? Uh, just try to be aggressive. Again, we did a good job of, you know, all game of staying aggressive. Our defense was key towards the end, and we did a good job of closing the game out. Great effort at both ends, Russell. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.
Yeah. <laughs> 